Hello guys, welcome to our latest product update from Podiphoria. Today I'd like to showcase you um, the org update on the UE5 mannequin backslash metahuman. We've been working on this over the last couple of weeks and I'm very proud to share with you right now the final results with everything, the costumes um, with cloth simulation, everything is ported over to these guys as you can see here. Oh, whoops, there's something missing. Why is there something missing? Yes, here we go, custom. And turns on full screen. Here are some uh, goblin animation examples from the UE4 Marketplace, which are pretty funny, I think. And uh, as you can see, these work on different um, bone positions. This is our goblin template, uh, the um, tall normal weight proportions of the meta humans, and our troll. Um, proportions on the UE5 mannequin skeleton as well. Everything um, as mentioned before is uh, animated and rigged correctly. Let me see if we gonna hit the play button. Yeah, I can also work around with a draw as you can see with the default uh, many uh, blueprint, which is maybe not the best animation for such a big heavy dude, but as you can see it's Still working with the same anim sequence. Okay, so what else did we do? Um, yeah, we ported all the uh, basic costumes of our average body type over, um, and I also made a meta human mesh identity um, with this guy, as you can see here. Just simulate. I have put it here. Uh, uh, animation from the crowd simulation package, um, and, and as you can see we are getting some facial animation on these guys in case you want to have it right okay and here's as well a basic meta human as you can see um with our costumes working for sure here's the pants um underneath which is maybe not the uh, best thing but for right now i think it's um okay all right let's take a closer look what we made with the meta human um let me just open this one. Okay, and we want to work on this guy. Yeah, as you can see here, this is um, one of our base meshes ported over and everything is fine with the metahuman face um, morphology. And we can easily uh, change this to um, everything which is working. Mm -hmm. Our faces uh, come with a basic asymmetry in the facial area, which I had to change for the um, metahuman facial recognition. So therefore I also added a new mesh to start for you guys from, which you can find in the body. There's a tall normal weight meta identity sample. I'm not allowed to submit the identity uh, parts itself because it's the plugin is still experimental and in beta state. So um, these will not be um, part of the submit. You have to create these on yourself, but I'm going to showcase you this in a second. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as we see here as well, I made a control rig for the troll itself troll itself with um, updated uh, markers for the um, bigger morphology compared to the basic um, mannequin and we can also change here as you can see the uh, switches from FK to IK everything is updated here and you can uh, work with these in case you want to animate the troll by yourself in Unreal directly neck positions are updated the bone positions are slightly different from the default mannequin i had a basic brute neck where the head is more stuck out in the front instead of um, the up axis and therefore you can also work with the uh, neck controllers here yeah and this is all working so you can easily um change these parts and and um, do your things with it Whatever is best for you. Yeah, you, um, you can make a lot of things with a control rig. It depends all on your pipeline and how you want to move on with it. And same applies here. I made here different, um, I think this shows it better. Um, also another goblin skeleton template. And that these guys appear a little bit uh, 
smaller compared to the uh, tall normal weight um, proportions of the metahumans. And for sure the troll are the biggest ones. Okay, and let's take a closer look um, about the identity and how we get um, our meshes into the metahuman creator. Okay, um, at first you have to create a metahuman identity. You're gonna make a right click, go to metahuman, metahuman identity, and that's called this org I then check. Okay, I'm just gonna copy the name with F2 um, because we need the name in a second. Let me open this one and I'm gonna terminate the simulation. Pull that window over. And at first you have to add the components from meshes. And there we can use our face, which is here right now. So this is the first step. When you go to a neutral pose, um, you will have the possibility to add frames right now. And in the beginning, I um, prefer to have a pretty lower field of view to get more a straight view on the whole ad head area. As mentioned in other tutorials, make sure that everything is aligned somehow in the middle. And then we're gonna add a frame. I have here a frame now. Right click, track markers. And now the algorithm runs, or the AI, and he tries to recognize your facial features. Um, as we can see here, he found some similarities um, with his templates, but we have some differences for sure. If you select the ear, he doesn't know the shape of the ear, right? So um, if we go in here and I would activate it, he is still not be able to get the, this data because we have here a fantasy ear, right? Which is not um, part of the general um, metahuman template right now. But what we could do, we use the outer helix first. The outer helix is the outer shape and the inner helix is um, more the inside, uh, which I will show in a three quarter view later. Okay, but for right now, I'm gonna just place this one here for showcasing purposes. And I just make it, let's say, quick and dirty to don't make that video too long, um, but just to showcase you more the process, how the things are working here together. Okay, and um, if we would, which is not set to active right now, it's just visible. I just placed this um, line to help him capture the whole data. And if we go to meta human identity solve, dum, 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 dum. cross fingers, wait a second, and let's take a look. Voila, here we have the base facial features recognized on the metahuman face morphology, which is pretty good. And uh, if you would send it over to the bridge, just simply press mesh to metahuman, and then you will have it in bridge in a minute. But the ear is not captured, as we can see right now, yes? Um, don't press the active button right now in this viewport, because then the ear, which we adjusted, will jump back to its initial position. So go back to your default view, select the ear. We're gonna make, as you can see, little bugs are happening with experimental plugins, which is fine, right? Because we had this identity solve made earlier. Okay, so make sure before you run the identity solve that you have set it to active because then it's just getting recognized. Okay, let's just make this a little bit quick to show you how things play together. Dum, dum, dum. Voila, voila, voila. And I think that's for right now okay. I just want to show you guys that it's working. Meeting identity solve. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, and as you can see here, compared to the left side, we are getting somehow the first glimpse of the ear, right? Which is not um, super duper um, close to our initial ear, um, and therefore we need to capture more frames. So, um, to say, we gonna go back to the org identity, I gonna go back to A, and what I will do right now, I gonna add a new frame. I'm gonna rotate my camera, 
go to three quarter view and here if I would right now also track markers please from this angle voila he finds this one I'm gonna activate the ear again and as you can see he is starting to recognize that we moved already that curve um, but make sure the camera is locked in frame one we just get the front view right and the algorithm is uh, or the AI is uh, not perfect I would not like to say stupid but he doesn't know that the ear goes so far um, into the uh, depth itself so it's good to have a three quarter view as well go in here and try to capture more the outer angle of the um, fantasy orcish ear itself okay and then we also try to work with the inner helix right now which I will like to place somehow here and we go in here place it here place it here and this one as well to help us recognize the whole area better um, I for my tests I deactivated as well the uh, um, the lips from the three quarter views because I had the feeling that the lips are getting then somehow um, destroyed so I'm gonna remove this and as you can see here with the eye if you would right now take this part of the um, mesh to meter human calculation this will not likely to work good out for you so I'm gonna remove this one that we only capture this side of the image right now okay I'm gonna make these two active this one as well we're gonna capture the whole ear now voila uh, hit the save button and we run another meter human identity solve okay let's take a look ah we are getting closer we are getting closer here it's still not perfect if you compare that to the um, to our initial version right as you can see it, it's it's very important for orcs to have this pointy ears, at least in my case, in my design, what I made here. Um, so um, it cannot be that perfect. So I would recommend to then export simply your face once it's in the um, MetaHuman Creator or in Unreal and adjust it in your preferred DCC. Uh, we use Maya for these kind of things. Uh, you can also do that uh, in Blender to get um, a little bit closer the kind of um, shape you like to have for these guys. Yeah, um, and also this is like just an example how to do it. Yeah, so I made one of the faces which I was shown earlier, uh, which you can uh, use the, um, the face test and you can easily um, then make your own meta human identity we are not allowed to submit um, this data because it's an experimental plugin and we are not allowed to share this data so you have to do that on your own but as i have shown before you can then easily share facial animations between your humanoids and your orcs um, or let's say your fantasy creatures um, that's pretty cool um, i was very very positive uh, he's surprised um, how well it worked for sure you don't get this kind of texture fidelity inside the meta human creator right now so uh, I may see a lot of veins and uh, some dirt options but I do believe uh, they're gonna expand the creator and will add more and more features to it and um, then maybe you are able to add also more dirt or blood petals and all these kind of things um, whatever you are looking for right if you want to make it like a neutral positive orc or more a gore version and this depends all on your needs and as you can see you can also then um, uh, mix faces together you can uh, change parts of the um, ears of the whole facial area this is all um, doable as well with um, the markers you then uh, gonna get um, so it's also the uh, the mouse marker does not show up always it's hidden somehow but as you can see it's um, all working here right um, and you can then work with the default meta human creator features on our base bodies which is um, I think pretty cool 
Yeah, all right. Um, I do believe I've shown a lot of things right now and I don't want to make um, videos too long. Um, everything is ported over to UE5. This update is for free for all our customers and you are very much welcome to leave us a comment or let us know if you have any additional questions. If you want to get an overview of all the uh, costumes which are included, I would uh, suggest to take a look at the uh, first overview video of our um, orcs. And yeah, that's it from my side. I'm gonna wish you all a great day and I hope to see you soon. Adios.